welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Today um, I've got a couple of free diamond paintings. I was on the internet browsing sites as usual and I saw a company advertising free diamond painting kits. So I thought, okay, I'll give this a bash and see what we get for free. So I ordered two and um, they are pretty small but I, I tried to get some with a bit more detail than the fish that I did in the previous video. So now what I'm trying to do is to see how far you can go with the detail in the smaller um, diamond paintings before you get to a point where they simply aren't worth doing because the, the quality isn't that good. So these two have got a bit more detail in them and we'll see how they look um, before I do them and I'll do another video once they're finished uh, to let you see the final product. So on to the video. So these are the two packages that turned up a couple of days ago. Uh, when I got them I wasn't exactly sure which ones they were um, because like a lot of people I've got a backlog of orders, um, some um, ordered about three months ago and they still haven't turned up. So when these turned up, uh, I wasn't sure what was in them. But what I didn't notice is with this company, they actually print a small black and white picture um, so you can see what it is that's inside it. So you can see the size is 15 uh, centimetres by 20 centimetres, so pretty small. But could be a good size for someone who's thinking about doing diamond painting, doesn't want to spend too much money. So as I said, these were advertised as free. They aren't exactly free. You do have to pay for shipping. So I ordered these two and the shipping cost $15.98. Now... On the website they actually have a section um, that says free kits and most of them seem to be about $24.99 as the retail price or so recommended price and they have reduced that to zero. Um, whether you would realistically pay $25 for uh, diamond paintings this small I'm not so sure but still um, Two diamond paintings for $19 could be a good idea if you're just new or if even if you've been doing them longer and you just want a little um, quick one to do to pass the time. But the main thing that I'm interested in is the quality. Uh, these are going to be I think the smallest so far and they both have a lot more detail than the fish one that opened uh, in a previous video. So. We'll start with this one and you can see on the back there's a little picture there of an owl and again it's 15 centimeters by 20 centimeters. This one is called Trippy Owl. So we'll open it up and have a look. So we've got canvas, actually has a key in both sides and I mean you can see how small this is, uh, yeah. I, would, I would expect just one key in something this small but they've done two and you can see the symbols, not too bad. Uh, Dark ones are pretty you know, difficult to read though. Apart from that, uh, very clear. So 15 by 20, small picture of what it's going to be. So before I open that up, um, have a look at see what we get in the kit. So got a big baggy 
with the standard boat um, which has the little shoot or nozzle which I prefer because I use tic tac boxes to keep the, the drills in so these fit exactly into the tic tac box so it's really easy to tip them up and back into the box uh, standard pink wax a few more baggies again this is just standard really stuff um, this isn't quite standard two pens normally you just get one and we've got multi-placers here so two multi-placers two pens normally you just get one pen sometimes you'll get a multi-placer sometimes you don't so it's good to know and drills and the key so try and keep this away from the microphone as much as possible because I know it is really annoying listen to this real thing just get it over there ok I'll have a look at the picture first so this is what it's going to be quite a lot of detail in this uh, for such a, a small picture so we'll see how that turns out and the checklist and the key again it's a bit more readable than uh, the key on the canvas clear some instructions in Chinese which is very handy if you're Chinese and that's it so onto the drills um, as always I'm going to have a quick look yeah I can see some little bars on them Not too bad though. The main thing is the bags are dry inside. No signs of any oil from the machinery, which can cause problems when you try to pick them up. So, yeah, I would say they're fine. on the key uh, there are 24 colors so they have them numbered um, not all companies have them pre-numbered but it's good that they do so the final thing is to actually have a look at the painting see um, if we have any air bubbles or anything because these are, uh, well, okay, there's a lot of colour in this. Um, these aren't poured glue, so it's basically a sheet of double-sided sticky stuff. And uh, it can happen that it doesn't go on flat and you get air bubbles that you have to deal with. But this, uh, some little creases, but no air bubbles, so that's actually very good. So, close up, you see uh, quite a lot of colour in this, but, but it's very clear, very easy to read the symbols. Canvas is sort of standard, and it is softish, not bad at all, uh, definitely better than I was really expecting for a free freebie and if I put it down maybe get a slightly better idea of what it's going to look like so yeah I think that's that's okay I think that will actually be fine so I'll put that to the side so that one's called trippy owl 
if anybody is interested. Um, the website is called marvodiamond.com. I will put it in the description if you want to go and have a look at that. So the next one, again, same size, little picture, you can maybe make out what that might be. Cut this one. I don't mix up the drills, that's the main thing. So again, canvas, little baggy. Let's see if we get exactly the same in this one. So the boat with the shoot, pink wax. A few spare baggies. and two pens and again we have the two different sizes of multi-placers wasn't expecting the two pens but it's always handy to have a spare in case you damage one and again Russell 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 wouldn't done that This is the picture, and again the key. This is pretty clear. This one. Yeah. It's just when you get really dark uh, backgrounds, and then if they do a really dark background and a black letter, um, it can be really hard to read them. So. Exactly the same instructions in Chinese and the drills are different. If I look at the drills from this one, pick a cover that we can see. Um, you can see the number printed in the bag. Hold it the right way up. Um, three eight three five on the bag there. And the bags are like this sort of thing. But this one, the different. So you've got the number and then the DMC code, but they're in these bags and they're all joined together. The other one, the, the colours are separate. So, different company. Came from the same website, but obviously they've got different suppliers. So, that's different. It's actually a bit easier for when you're setting up because you can see which number each one is. Um, these ones you can't. So you have to look at the number and then look at the key to find out which one it is. So, this is actually a bit better, makes things a bit faster. And again, have a look, just to see, very few colours in these. Um, they look fine again. No oil. And they look really good. These and finally, have a look at canvas, which is exactly the same, it feels the same, it's the same size, it's very small. 
uh, key down the side. Yeah, that's definitely more readable than the other one. And then and a little picture. And then I'll look at the actual canvas. When you have these ones with the double sided glue, um, you need to watch when you're picking up the corner to take the cover off because sometimes you can accidentally pick up the glue and it's just a sheet. So if you catch that by mistake and just pull the thing off, you're going to pull the sheet of glue off the canvas. Um, and if you do that, you're in big trouble um, because if you pull like quite a bit of uh, the, the glue off, it's going to be virtually impossible to put it back down without it creasing or sticking to itself. A bit like, you know, if you're um, using sellotape and you pull a big piece and it just flips over and sticks to itself and you can't get it back off. Um, this is worse because the glue is even stickier. Okay, this is uh, yeah. Let's see how this one turns out. A lot of colours. Um, a very busy pattern for such a small canvas. So it'll be interesting to see how this one looks. I think the owl will actually look better, but you never know. We won't know until it's finished. So I'll just put them side by side. Obviously you need to put these, well, put the covers back on them first and then uh, put something on them to um, flatten them. Leave them for a few days with some weights on it. Just to get these creases out, just turn them over, lay them underneath uh, something like books or um, even under your mattress in your bed, something like that, um, just to flatten them before you start working on them. Makes it a lot easier. So that's that. Even though they look exactly the same, they've got the same logos up here, they're the same size. The drills came in different types of bags, up, so it's quite interesting. I would have expected them to be exactly the same, but they're not. So that's it, really. Um, as I said, these are small ones for people that might be thinking about um, starting diamond painting, don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, so I got these two. Um, free but as I said you have to pay for the shipping so I think it was about $19 in total for two diamond paintings. Um, personally I would probably go for the owl I think it is going to look a bit better than uh, this one. Just a lot of uh, colour but again if you uh, step back if you frame this and put it up in the wall the further back you are from it the clearer it's going to look um, because if, if I put this up here like that I mean it's pretty hard to tell what that's going to be but if I put it back um, it becomes a bit more visible so that's it just a, a quick one again I thought it might be interesting for people who are maybe thinking about diamond painting so you could um, have a look at that website and um, see if there's anything there. They have 16 um, different designs in the, the free kit section, but I did notice that quite a lot of them are sold out or out of stock. So um, I don't know how long it'll be before they restock them, if they do restock them, if they change them over. It was the first time that I looked at the site. They do have uh, other ones, bigger ones, um, at normal prices, but I just thought the the free thing was interesting. I did see another website that was uh, doing an offer buy four, uh, get two free, but I noticed uh, they were all small, and you had to spend over fifty dollars to qualify. Now, if it was me and I had fifty dollars to spend on diamond paintings, I would go for. 
uh, one um, rather than six rather than six small ones get one bigger one the quality of the picture is guaranteed to be better so again that's my personal uh, view I prefer to get the ones that have got good detail because the ones that I do most of them um, are a frame and they're, they're hanging uh, on the wall these smaller ones are more um, just to try them out see what they look like maybe help people who are thinking about starting and they can decide um, like I said when they're finished I'll do a side by side comparison and people can make their own mind up which one looks the best uh, the problem is if you go for a lot of detail on small ones they aren't as clear as you th th might think they're going to be you have to remember the drills are two and a half millimeters by two and a half millimeters so if you've got very fine lines in a in the artwork of a picture you, you're not going to get that it's the thinnest line you can get is two and a half millimeters by two and a half millimeters and on a very small diamond painting that is actually quite thick if this was a a, a much bigger diamond painting um, it looks mo it is actually finer because you've got more dots uh, on the canvas so okay that's it so not too bad uh, I think the owl is going to turn out the best but we'll see I'll, I'll maybe uh, post them up on Instagram and uh, people can vote um, to which one they prefer once it's finished so there you have it if uh, you found any of this video interesting uh, or useful and uh, please remember to hit the subscribe button I would really appreciate it and if you're interested in che uh, checking out these uh, freebies freebies um, you can check them at marvodiamond.com I will put the name in the description at the bottom um, just out of curiosity from what you've seen which one would you choose? Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care, be safe, and wash your hands.